Hi, Don Eden here with you from Video Wave, and I'm here with Mark and Booty from American Music Club. They're from they're from San Francisco and out here for the new music seminar where they're playing at the Knitting Factory tonight. So you have a new album out now, which is your first for um, Alias. Yes, yeah, it's, it's our it's our fifth album and it's our first for Alias Records. We have uh, three on Frontier Records and one on Demon in Britain. Demon, now your album on Demon, did that come out when Elvis Costello was heading the label? Well, Elvis, Elvis and Jake own the label, they, they co-own the label with people from Demon themselves, so, you know, so Elvis basically doesn't have very much say in the label at all. Well, he has a lot of say, but he doesn't have any say on who gets signed or any, any oh, so daily, day and day working on the label at all. Did you ever tour England to support the Demon record? Yes. Oh, yeah, we did. A couple times. What kind of response is there in England for um, for bands that play your kind of music? Because, I mean, from what I've heard, your music is very, you know, Americans in the band name, so it's very American music. Well, we actually get a pretty good response. You know, we've been there a couple times. Uh, we, we have a really good following. In Not that our music sounds particularly American. You know. Because you're... English influence. Well, maybe, maybe the name is attractive to them. So. I don't know. I think we've got the three worst words in any band name ever. <laughs> and I think that most, most people in England are pretty much aware of that. They don't, I mean, they don't care. I mean, it's, I think they, we've been around long enough that they like the music. I, yeah, I, I don't know. Do, do you think the words are any worse than God's Little Monkeys? I have no, really no comment on God's Little Monkeys. I'm sorry, this is one of those video wave tricks where we try to take bands who are on the same label who are jealous of each other for getting more promotion and then we try to create rivals with rivalries and put <laughs> well, them against God each is other and stuff. Well, God is one of the best stuff. words in the language though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, God it is. God is supreme. Very true. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, and monkeys. So now all we need is to get them to take out the little. Yeah, to hell with them. So, now we're going to see your video, which is called Rise, no relation to the Herb Alpert song of the same name. Mm. Although you guys secretly love that Whipped Cream album, right? Mm. And tell us, to tell me about um, how it was filmed. Who directed it? Uh, I forgot the guy's name. Uh, <laughs> His name was Robert Caruso. And we gave him the idea, and he just took off with it. Yeah, it's basically uh, a thing about, I'm, I sing, so uh, basically, I fall in a dunk tank every time the word rise comes up. As you'll see. As you'll see. As you're about to see. And it's hilarious, and it's a bunch of laughs. Where was the dunk tank? In a studio. You mean they actually took this tank and set it up in the studio? Well, you can buy them. They're on a trailer, you know, you just <laughs> drag them behind your car. And you <laughs> It's also, we hang out a lot, so so we make people come. We, we pressure. pressure them into coming. Well, I used to be in a band that would give people drugs to come. <laughs> we'll hear more about that. We'll we'll hear more about that. I'm not cutting cutting you off because of the drugs, because I want to hear more about that. But first, we got to watch Rise by American Music Club.
Okay, this is a chastised Don Eden back with you on Video Wave. You've just seen Rise by American Music Club, and I'm back here with Mark and Booty. Now we're inside the knitting factory, and I've been chastised for asking stupid questions and trying to cause rivalries between bands. They've told me. Thank you, thank you. We don't have any rivals in this world. Right. So I've been told to ask them what I really want to know. Okay? So here's something I really want to know. Okay, you're both like good looking guys, and I've always believed that people who are good looking know that they're. You, you are! You are! I've oh, always believed. So I he's, know. He's well, we, we, we're going to have to argue this point. I mean, see, the trouble with that question is we're going to have to go from here. Are we, in fact, good looking guys? And if we are good looking guys, it gives a shit. Who cares? No, but what I'm saying is, I've always believed that people who are good looking know that they're good looking, so, like, they're confident of that, so they're not surprised when other people are attracted to them. So, is that true? That's why we have such an easy life. It's a, it's a That's what I thought. Yeah. People just throw things our way. Good things. It's really good. For us, it's good all the time. It's always good. Because of our looks. That's basically how we got here to New York City. We wrote on our good looks. It's really, it is great to be in New York with these good looks. So what are you planning to do while in New York? How much more time? We're just going to go around to where there's a lot of people and just hang out. They can all look at us. Now, you said that you're scene makers in San Francisco. Oh, and now I remember, you said that you used to be in a band. I was going to ask you about this. When you look as good as we do, you never have trouble with the doorman. You never. You're in. Yeah. No, seriously, yeah. seriously, I really believe that guys know that they're good looking and then that like puts puts uh, like women who are not as self-confident in it at a disadvantage when they're trying to like approach guys who are good looking. Well, anyway, so you were in this band that used to give drugs to people in order to get them to come to gigs? What band was this? It was called Farmers. Farmers. And what kind of drugs? Were you in this band too? Were you there though when they were giving the drugs to people to get them to come to shows? No. So, no seriously, tell me about Rides, the video. Um, well, Rides is written uh, for a friend of mine who just died of AIDS because uh, I wanted to write an upbeat pop song for him because uh, I figured it. a lot of songs I write are pretty sad and pretty quiet. I figured it, you know, sick people often don't need that kind of shit. So I uh, basically wrote an upbeat pop song, even though the lyrics are kind of dumb. The chorus is upbeat. Did your friend get to hear it? He heard it. He doesn't like it. He hated it. You know, he likes, he's into Barbara Streisand and stuff like that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he heard it. I think he appreciated the gesture. I mean, in San Francisco, they got that thing that they call a quilt. You know, like they make this big quilt. Right, a, it's that's a political thing. Well, I, I don't think I'm gonna. I can't sew. So this is like memorialism. I mean, that sounds corny. Cool. Yeah. That's did, why I wrote so do, do you write any songs yourself? I, I know you don't do any songs if you're in the band, but do you write any? One a year, every year. One, one a year. A year. I sing it to myself. Do any other? The videos? last one I wrote was called The Devil's Rim. <laughs> Which was about? Love. Well, I've been talking with Mark and Booty of American Music Club. This is Don. I'd like to thank you both for coming, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. And this is Don Eden for Video Wave.